All right, class, settle down. Time to settle down. I said settle down! So it's simple enough to watch old animated movies, but can we get some real inspiration and ideas from these historical works? Let's at least try, shall we? During the silent movie era, animation got started with film experiments involving real-life objects moved about one frame at a time. You may not want to animate a couch walking around, but it's fun to animate toys and found objects. Meanwhile, a Russian ectomologist, Ladislaw Starovich, built realistic armatures so he could animate real insects. His first film was The Cameraman's Revenge. As you can see, there's more to stop motion than just creating basic armature puppets. George Powell may have been the most prolific of the early puppet animators. In 1940, Powell created the animated series called Puppetoons, using replacement animation. Pal made carvings on puppet heads and body parts in order to show different facial expressions and movement. We're still using the replacement method for facial animation and transformation effects. From the early days of feature films, stop motion has been used for creature animation. Willis O'Brien experimented with realistic animated puppets for The Lost World in 1925. This led to the most celebrated animated monster in movie history, King Kong. It's certainly a lot of fun to animate real or fantasy creatures instead of sticking to your basic human puppet. The present company accepted. But perhaps the greatest inspiration for stop-motion artists is Ray Harryhausen, who combined live action with models in front of a rear projection screen. Even if you're not incorporating live action, you can look to these movies for creative inspiration. What sort of creatures could populate your animated movies? Art Clokey is one of the original television animators and is best known for creating Gumby and Pokey. You can certainly see a lot of tricks used to save time and money in these shows, but they certainly still remain entertaining. Arthur Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass joined forces for the television production company Rankin Bass to produce such classics as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Here we can see how time is well spent creating detailed, imaginative sets. Will Vinton took play animation to the next level by using flexibility for expressive facial animation and imaginative effects. I wonder what makes it work. The Will Vinton studio created a number of TV specials and animated the singing raisins. Consider having everything in one of your movies looking as though it was all made of clay. After Tim Burton directed some live-action hits, Disney let him produce a story that he developed while he was at the studio. Tim Burton enlisted Henry Selleck to direct The Nightmare Before Christmas, a film that continues to inspire upcoming stop-motion animators, perhaps because it pushes the quality and creativity of puppets and miniature effects while still maintaining a completely handmade look. In 2005, the former Will Vinton studio changed its name to Leica and went on to produce the Tim Burton film Corpse Bride. Since then, Leica has produced a library of 3D stop-motion features that push the art form and incorporate modern technology. On television, the CBS Saturday morning television show Pee-wee's Playhouse was a highly innovative showcase for animators. I encourage all animators to watch these animated segments for creative inspiration. In fact, that's your homework. Aww. Nick Park joined Ardman Animation Studio in England, and his characters, Wallace and Gromit, became a worldwide hit. Their distinctive style has carried over into their other features as well. This is a football. And now, even in this age of computer animation, Stop Motion maintains a strong presence on television and streaming services with the likes of Robot Chicken, Tumble Leaf, and Lego Animation on YouTube. So Stop Motion Animation continues to inspire artists young and old who... Oh dear, out of time. So your homework is to look at the works of these masters and see what new directions you can take your own projects. Uh, someone get the likes, please.